What's up, everybody? It's Maddie on a mission. I'm out here doing my motherfucking thing. I hope you're doing your thing as well. It's another beautiful day here in California, man. It's beautiful out here, man. It's paradise outside. That's why it's so expensive to live out here, man, because every day it's 72 degrees with a breeze. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm not here to be your weather, man. I'm here to talk about a team I'm very passionate about. This is a Raiders channel. You know, I talk about the Raiders a lot on this team, uh, on this team, on this channel. And uh, that's for good reason. That's a team that I'm very passionate about. It doesn't matter where I go in this world. I'm always going to be repping the Oakland Raiders, just like I'm always going to be repping this other team that I'm ready to talk about right now. And this other team that I'm ready to talk about is really pissing me off, and it's the Los Angeles Lakers, man. These guys are really bad at basketball, man. This is by far the worst Laker team that I've ever seen in my entire life. You know what I'm saying? And I've been a Laker fan for a very long time, since the Magic Johnson days. You know what I'm saying? And this right now is probably the biggest disgrace to the purple and gold I've ever seen. You know what I'm saying? Not just because we're bad at basketball. Not just because we just lost by 48 points to, I think, the Utah Jazz of all fucking teams. How you lose by 48 points to a team like that is still, is still a mystery to me. But anyways... This whole D'Angelo Russell versus Nick Young internet beef about him leaking a fucking uh, video. D'Angelo D'Angelo Russell leaking a video about Nick Young and how he cheated on his wife with some 19-year-old chick. Listen, I don't know how many. I, I I don't know if there's too many things that I give a fuck about less than who the hell Nick Young is sticking it to, man. I really don't care, bro. Nobody cares, actually. Nobody cares. But it's a big old scandal and Stephen A. Smith is going to get on TV and talk about it and make a big deal out of it. Because that's what he's paid to do. But in the big scheme of things, who gives a shit, man? Four days from now, nobody's going to care about this stupid ass story. The Lakers are terrible and that's what Laker fans care about, man. The fact that we have to look at the inverse standings to hope that we you know, hold on to our top three draft picks so we can get some average ass college basketball player who's not going to make an impact on this team any fucking way. D'Angelo Russell, you need to man up, bro. You're 20 years old. I'm going to write you a little bit of a pass because a year and a half ago, you were still in high school. So you may not know stuff about the fucking world and you need to grow up a little bit. But if you are really focused on getting better at basketball, if you are really focused about improving this team, you would not have time to fuck with Nick Young about who he's fucking on the side. And let me give you a little bit of news flash out there for everybody who might be confused about things, okay? Professional athletes cheat on their wives. Do I need to say it again? Professional athletes cheat on their wives. 90 fucking 5% of the time. 95% of the professional athletes. Even your favorite fucking athlete, the clean cut white dude that you like, who's the quarterback of your fucking football team, or some other guy that you think would never do it. He's, he's so Christian, he's so religious. He would never step out on his wife. Bullshit. Bullshit, man. Every single one of these motherfuckers are, are banging multiple chicks. And they should. They're professional fucking athletes, man. They have access to girls that none of us have access to. These gold diggers. These fucking hip-hop models. These, these chicks with jiggly-ass titties and ass just flying all over the place, man. Cocoa butter, brown skin, all that shit. You're gonna be able to resist that when you're on the road in fucking Minnesota or some shit? There's no way you're going to be able to resist that. Maybe the first four or five times you come across it, but you will get weak. And these chicks have it down to a science. They know where to be when that shit goes down, when you get weak. And you will give in. I don't care who you're married to, man. Halle Berry got cheated on. <laughs> shit. You think Iggy Azalea is not going to get cheated on cause, just because she's a white girl with an ass? Bitch, please. But I don't care about that, man. I really don't give a fuck. I, I, like I said, there's not many things that are more relevant than who Nick Young is fucking. I really don't. Who gives a shit, man? And you motherfuckers are distracted by this? You have 15 or 16 wins on the entire season. And you're worried about Nick Young. Nick Young is not good enough. And is not contributing enough to this team for me to give a shit about him like that. And neither are you, D'Angelo Russell. You're lucky I'm not the GM. You're lucky I'm not the head coach. Because both of you guys would be sitting on your ass watching the games. And or off the team. Because you fail to realize you don't play for some punk ass team. You play for the Los Angeles fucking Lakers. You better get your shit together, man.
The purple and gold, that uniform that you put on, commands more respect than what you guys are showing on the court. Every single night, taking a dump on the court, losing to average ass teams. And I understand, man. We don't have a lot of talent on this team. We don't have a lot of leadership on this team. And I knew this was going to happen. We had some bad contracts four or five years ago. We paid Steve Nash way too much money. You know, we, we paid Dwight Howard a bunch of money. And he left after fucking one year. So I knew this was going to happen. I knew we were going to be bad. And it's okay because we have a shit ton of championships to keep us warm at night. But goddamn, man. This is the worst Laker team that I have ever seen. The biggest disgrace to the purple and gold that could ever happen. This team is terrible, man. And I can say that because I've been sticking with this team for a long time. And it's been good. We've been spoiled as Laker fans, man. I'll be the first to say it. We were good for so many years that we don't know what it's like to be terrible. You know what I'm saying? And right now, we're hitting rock bottom. But right now, I, can, I don't sense any leadership throughout the whole organization. From top to bottom, I don't see anybody doing anything that matters to get this thing turned around and it sucks because it's Kobe's last year he's falling apart there's a week and a half or something left in the regular season it just needs to end at this point man because I'm tired of seeing this shit I really am man if you guys were really focused on basketball if you guys were really focused on getting better you wouldn't have time to get caught up and social media drama. Man, these young motherfuckers piss me off. I must be getting old or something, man. Because I don't understand why this shit is even relevant. Why are we even talking about this dumb shit? Professional athletes cheat on their wives, man. That's the way it goes. With the exception of maybe A.C. Green. A.C. Green was a fucking virgin until he was 42 years old or something. So he probably wasn't cheating on anybody. But everybody else... They got a little something on the side, man. I don't care who he is. I don't care who he's married to. But this is about basketball, man. What the hell are you guys doing out there, bro? D'Angelo Russell, why don't you focus on not turning the fucking ball over 12 times a game? You need to grow up and you need to grow up quick, man. This is Los Angeles. These are the Los Angeles Lakers. And we don't accept this bullshit for too long. It's not going to be cute if we're fucking 15 and 59 again next year. Get your head out of your ass, man. Somebody needs to get fucking fired. Somebody needs to get let go. Somebody needs to get traded. Something needs to happen, man. And this offseason, there, there better be some moving and shaking happening in this fucking organization. We're not going to attract KD. KD is not coming here, man. Not because of this latest drama. Just because there's nothing here for him, man. He's in the prime of his, of, his, of his career. He wants to go somewhere where they're ready to win a damn championship. And no organization is farther away from that than the Los Angeles Lakers right now, especially in the West, where everybody's good. Everybody has a top-notch point guard. Everybody has good coaching. Everybody plays deep. Everybody fucking goes hard in the West. And, and we're sitting here talking about Iggy Azalea and Nick Young. Man, I don't give a fuck about their marriage, man. How long did you think that shit was going to fucking last anyways? Who gives a shit about this goddamn fucking tabloid bullshit, man? Focus up on basketball, bitches. You're on the Lakers. I'm pissed off about this shit, man. Fucking, you know what I'm saying? Byron Scott bench D'Angelo Russell, bro. Bench him. Obviously, he doesn't fucking get it. Who the fuck has time to expose their teammate about who they're fucking on the side, man? That violates guy code. That violates violates NBA code. I mean, come on. Locker room code, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's an open secret. These motherfuckers are cheating on their wives, bro. Why is it even news? Focus on winning some fucking games, you punk motherfuckers, man. Let's go get fucking that kid from Duke and, and be a little bit better next year. That's all that's going to happen. Anyways, it's Maddie on a mission. I talked long enough about this bullshit. I'm out. Just remember one thing, man. D'Angelo Russell, when I speak, you listen. Punk bitch, you. <laughs>